I have started a new series that's a plant-based plan with me. So if you're looking for some meal inspiration, or if you want to plan your meals right alongside me, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, so we can get going together. Hi, Dr. Page back here. I'm a family doctor raising my primarily plant-based family in the Northeast. If you're new, welcome to the plant-based plan with me where I go through a week of meals, primarily focusing on dinner and exactly what I feed my family. If you follow me over at Instagram, you'll know that last week was complete crazy town around here. We had two back-to-back -back storms and our power was out for five days. I didn't have internet, I didn't have power, my meal planning got all over the place. So let's use this week to reset, to focus on our health goals, and to live our healthiest lives together. Okay, check out the description below to get this printable here. But my process is first, look at my week. Anything that is different or abnormal, I'm gonna jot down in the notes and reminders. So I already checked my calendar. Monday, my oldest daughter has a doctor's appointment and I've got to keep that on track. We've been waiting for like six months for this. Friday, I am working from home, which is different for me. But this is going to help us because Monday, my husband's going to take my daughter to her appointment. So that means Monday dinner is going to be takeout. Hooray! That'll make my life very easy. And I can use the time that I would be prepping that meal to batch prep some things for breakfast. So I'm gonna make a chickpea and carrot muffin. If you follow my Instagram, I already made banana pancakes and the recipe is up over there. But if I make these muffins, I can make sure we get beans and fruits and vegetables in, especially for my kiddos, if we're gonna get some maybe not as healthy takeout. The nice part is if I make a lot of these muffins, I can freeze them and then have them to pull from for the rest of the week or after. Tuesday is stir fry. Who's surprised? Tuesday's always stir fry around my house. And again, we'll just finish off the fresh muffins or maybe pull some of those pancakes from the freezer. I think I'm out of jam, so I'll probably write that down to batch prep some raspberry or some blueberry jam, pull those pancakes from the freezer, and keep our breakfast pretty simple once it all gets prepped, of course. Wednesday, I'm going to make a lentil walnut bolognese. Let's talk about walnuts for a minute. That'll be our plant-based pearl for today. A new article in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology looked at 19 different studies and compared total nut consumption with mortality. So what is your chance of dying from cardiovascular disease in particular? Walnuts seem to be superior to any other nut, and the more you eat, the better it is. So you should aim for about a quarter cup of walnuts every day. Walnuts both decrease cholesterol, but they also decrease the inflammatory markers that can lead to things like plaque disruption and heart attacks or stroke. So if you're gonna pick a nut, choose a walnut. We will eat this boulognese with spaghetti squash. And the best thing about this is I'll double the batch and freeze a whole bunch so that down the road we can just defrost that and have something heart healthy on hand. Thursday, I'm going to put a sweet potato chili in the crock pot. Thursdays are typically long days at work for me, so it's nice to come home to this. Plus, we'll get lots of veggies in and our servings of beans. I'll try to catch my husband making ploys. I did this recently on my Instagram story. It's a French Canadian buckwheat pancake. On Friday, I'm gonna make homemade pizza and a big salad. Since I'll be working from home, I'll cut out my commute time and make up for that by making a fresh pizza. Since I checked my week, I checked my pantry. I'm gonna just fill in the little bit of breakfast muffins and pancakes that we'll have. I'm gonna make a note to myself here to prep some more jam. If you missed it, I'll put a little link up here so you can get my jam recipe and make sure you are fiber filled. Looking at this, I'll probably double the chili also and put that in the freezer. So I'm kind of cooking and batch prepping at the same time. If we run out of muffins and pancakes, we'll have cereal or just a giant bowl of oatmeal. My trick to oatmeal is shred a carrot on top of that. You get a vegetable and then you can call it carrot cake oats. It's super tasty and my kids love it. 
for the bolognese typically i'll make this with mushrooms it gives it a really really rich flavor and can really trick you into thinking you're eating meat so if you are a meat lover or have a meat lover in your family really try out a bolognese that's made with lentils and walnuts you will not be disappointed otherwise it's mostly fresh ingredients that i need this week probably just call it a week. This looks like it's a pretty heart healthy overall. I hope that you've made some healthy planning and go through your week. Make sure you check off exactly what you're eating so you can look at your diet. You can see where you want to add things. You can make sure you get that serving of nuts or seeds in every day too.